in this video I'm going to solve uh, a nonlinear equation and a linear equation and uh, find the solution for this that means we want to find basically x and y which satisfies both these equations graphically uh, this is a parabola I'll explain that later this is a parabola and this is a straight line so these two line uh, this parabola and this line may or may not intersect at a point and that point or points is called the solution of this equation so first let me do it algebraically and then we'll do it graphically so first let me write the first equation which is 4x squared minus 2y is equal to negative 3. so i want to make this negative uh, positive so i'm going to move this to this side so I'm going to move this to this side. I hope you understand that. So this is 4x squared plus 3 is equal to 2y. So the same thing I'm going to rewrite. 2y is 4x squared plus 3. Now you may wonder what am I doing. I want to write this as y. Okay. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by 2. So y is equal to 2x squared plus 1.5. So I'll I'll come to the graphical part later on. So this is one equation. So let me call this a equation A. Okay, let me write the next equation with a different color. So the second equation is 4x minus y is equal to negative 4. The same process I want to bring, take the y, negative y to this side. So this will move to this side. So change of place, change of sign. So this negative 4y, negative 4 will come to this side and that will become 4x plus 4 is equal to y. So the same thing can be written as y is equal to 4x plus 4. So now you've got two equations in with respect to y. Okay, so equation A is in with respect to y, so y is equal to 2x squared plus 1.5 and equation b is also in terms of y. So, so from 1 and 2 using your logic, therefore from 1 and 2 or from a and b, I can say 2x squared plus 1.5x, sorry 1.5 is equal to 4x plus 4. So taking away uh, so let me do, I want to get a zero here, I want to make it a quadratic equation, so I'm adding, taking, taking away 4x from this side, so it will take away 4x from this side, so I'm not writing that, I hope you understand that, oops, so this is, so in other words, I'm going to bring this to this side, the whole thing, so this will become 2x squared plus 1.5 minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so this will become 2x squared minus 4x minus 2.5 is equal to 0. So I want to, uh, I want to divide the whole thing by 2. So to cancel this leading coefficient which is 2. So if you divide the whole thing by 2, it will become x squared minus 2x minus 1.25 is equal to 0. So I'm going to add 1.25 to both sides. So if you add 1.25 to this side, I would add 1.25 to this side. 1.25 this is 1.25, so I, I hope you can see that. So x squared minus 2x is equal to 1.25. Okay. Now I want to make it a perfect square. Now to make a perfect square, trinomial, the method is, this is, you do the half of the coefficient of x. So the half of negative 2 is negative 1, and then you square it. And negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared gives you 1. So I'm going to add 1 to this side. So to add 1 to this side. 
Maths is all about balancing equations, okay? So it's very similar to chemistry. So this becomes a perfect square of x minus 1 the whole square, which is 2.25. So I'm going to take square root of both sides. So square root of x minus 1 the whole square is equal to, when you're taking square root of a number, you have to put plus or minus square root of 2.25. So I am presume I mean I'm, I don't have a calculator now. I ha do have a calculator, but I'm not. I don't want to use it. So I know uh, 2.25 is square root of 2.25 is 1.5. So it's plus or minus 1.5. Okay. Now if you have a calculator, let me explain that. So if you go shift square root of 2.25 is 1.5. So adding 1 to both sides, x is, x is equal to, x is equal to 1 plus or minus, I'm adding 1 to both sides, 1.5. So you can see, you can get two answers, so 2x, so I'll say x1 is 1 minus 1.5, and x2, or the second value of x, is 1 plus 1.5. So you can say x1 is x1 is negative 0 0.5 or negative half and x2 is 2.5. So this is a lot of work. Now we want to find the value of y. Okay, y we know. This is an easy equation. y is 4x plus 4. So let me write the equation. So y we know is 4x plus 4. So we need to put the value of x1. When we put the value of x1, we get y1. Okay, so x1 and y1 are nothing but the coordinates where they're intersecting. So y1 is 4x1 plus 4. Okay, so that is y1 is 4 times negative half plus 4. So y1, negative 0.5 is negative half. So this is negative 2 plus 4. So y1, y1 is 2, when x1 is negative 0 point or negative half. In the same way y2 would be 4x2 plus y plus 4, so which is 4 times uh, your x2 was 2.5, so 2.5 plus 4, so which is, this is 4, uh, this is 10, am I right, 10 plus 4, let me confirm, I don't want to do silly mistakes, so 4 times 2.5 is 10, yeah. So this is y2 is 14. y2 is 10. Oh, yeah, 10 plus 4 is 14. So y2 is 14. So the points of intersection, so you've got two solutions. When x is negative half, y is, y is 2. So this is one point of intersection. And when x is 2.5 or 2 and a half, y is 14. So let me show this on a graphic calculator. You can also use a different program called Graphmatic. I'll show. So let me use a graphic calculator. Yeah. So if you have a graphic calculator, go to graph. The first equation was 2x squared plus 1.5. So type in 2x squared plus 1.5. And the second equation was 4x plus 4. And you should remember the points of intersection. Okay. So before graphing, if you draw the graph, this is, you need to change the scales. So I'll make the scale, say, 10 to 10, and I'll go, y maximum, I'll go up to 20. Scale of 2, and then draw it. So can you see these are the two points of intersection? If you go G-Sol and intersect, this is one point, which is negative 0 0.52, and the next point is 2.514. So you have 
you should be proud if you're able to do this. So basically, let me also graph this to explain what it means. So this is your y-axis. This is not drawn to scale. This is the x-axis. So y is equal to 2x squared. y is equal to 2x squared plus 1.5. Let me look somewhat like this. Okay, so this is your this is your equation y is equal to 2x squared plus 1.5. And this point is your 1.5. Okay, so this is your parabola, the basic parabola which is stretched 2 up and gone 1.5 up. And the other equation is a straight line, so it is 4x plus 4. So it can go somewhat like this. So I've drawn the scale. So 4x plus 4 may somewhat look like this. Okay, so this point, so the equation of this line is y is equal to 4x plus 4. You should understand it graphically and algebraically. So this point was your negative half, negative half 2, and this point was 2 and a half, comma 14.